Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial we are going to be looking at caustics specifically uh, within Octane for Blender. So I think this will be a really fun one and I'm excited to show you the capabilities of uh, the Octane render um, when it comes to caustics. So this is our scene here and uh, I've just set up a very simple scene where I I made these cups here and, and, and gave them a, a glass shading. I'll just turn this one off on here. Um, and then I have an area light that I just point towards it. So we have this nice uh, shadowy uh, fall off from the uh, glasses. Uh, and this file here will of course be available on my Patreon um, if you want to check it out yourself. Um, but yeah, so this is our scene and um, yeah, what we're looking at is this um, casting shadow that you see over here and how this, uh, how we are able to make this more interesting with uh, more realistic caustics. So right now, um, let me just go into our kernel settings. So right now I'm using a path tracing kernel. Uh, as you can see over here, it's the same settings. This is just so you can better see the, um, the kernel settings itself. So right here I have um, just the normal path tracing um, and normally this would be really good uh, to get that really kind of realistic look in your images but for the um, specific like caustics we have to look at another option that Octane provides us. Um, and I will just go into that um, just in a bit. But first of all, let's take a look at how we can create some sort of, you know, better caustics in this image here when we are uh, using our path, uh, path tracing kernel. So first of all, um, the first thing that we can do is when we um, select our objects here, and let me just go into the shader editor. Um, I have just a, a simple specular material here. And um, the first thing is that we're going to allow the caustics. But this, as you can see here, is if enabled, the photon tracing kernel will create caustics for the light reflecting. So actually, this setting here is really only necessary when we are using the photon tracing kernel, which I will show in a bit. So right now, it doesn't really affect the scene. But what we can do is that we can enable fake shadows. So right now, let me just select our objects here. I will select fake shadows. And I hope this will go through also on, uh, on, on YouTube with the quality. Hopefully you can see what's happening in the image here. So we have brightened up the shadows and we sort of get these blurry kind of, of caustics in our image here. Um, it does look kind of uh, not that realistic and I will set the index of reflections to um, 1.555 as this is the um, index of refraction for glass. Um, and when I go back into the Octane kernel, let me just select this one here. You can see we are using the path tracing kernel still. So this is one way to kind of fake caustics and get that kind of caustically kind of feel into your images. And um, I have just rendered out a path tracing caustics so you can better see it. Um, so let me just turn this one off here and um, I will just select this one here again. And hopefully you can see here that we have sort of nice caustics or at least some sort of like interesting shadowy effect. But this is not very realistic and you know, depending on the light source that you're using, using it can be quite unrealistic. So in this case, when we have a smaller light, as I will just, let me just drag this one out, as I will just show you here, it's a small light, it will be even more unrealistic when you use fake shadows. So if this was light was bigger, it would create a more realistic shadows. But in our case, we want that contrasty feel as we want to kind of um, have the caustics being sort of laid out in the image uh, this way here, creating this sort of really nice and interesting feel. 
So this is for the path tracing, and it is a way to create some sort of caustics and fake this effect here. But let me just show you what happens when we are using the photon tracing kernel. And this is an image for the photon tracing that I have um, you know, rendered out. And you can already see, hopefully, that it's much more, um, uh, yeah, much better, so to speak, um, compared to this image over here. We have these really kind of nice and realistic caustics creating really nice patterns in our image. Uh, this image is also a bit brighter. We could do the same over here. It's just, yeah, I don't know. But if you take a look at the cortex themselves, you can really start to see the effect happening here. So the way that we achieve this kind of image in Arcchain is that we have to use another kernel. So let me just enable this one here. If I go into the kernel, Arcchain kernel setting here, you can see that we're using the pass tracing kernel. But I will actually use the photon tracing kernel. You can just add a quick T or, you know, you can add the kernel uh, yourself. Um, but as you can see here, and let me just change this one to the normal and see, is this the settings that we have? Yeah, I think so. So as you can see here, this is the path tracing. And when I go into the Octane kernel settings over here and change it to the photon tracing, we should start to get better caustics. Um, and we do in fact get better caustics, but right now I don't think you're able to see the difference that much. Um, and it's because of the settings that we have in the kernel itself. So some of the things that we can do is we can add more um, caustic blur, um, or uh, you know, um, decrease the amount of blur so we don't have that much of a noise, noisy image. We can add um, caustic blur or we can uh, remove caustic blur and that will kind of uh, affect the amount of caustics that you see in the image. But the most, uh, you can also add some sort of like ray uh, epsilon here um, to kind of break up the rays a bit more. But the main thing and the thing that you should just um, you know start out learning about is the photon settings down here. So. Right now, uh, the photon radius is kind of big, so it gets uh, to, it looks a kind of um, what to say, kind of um, blurred out a bit. But we can change the the gathering here. So let's set it to, for example, zero point zero zero one, and we should already start to see that we get a uh, more interesting, um, you know, caustics here. And I think one of the reasons why, and I've actually wondered why I didn't see a big of effect, first of all, when I just had the settings. And I think, now that I remember, I think it's because we have fake shadows enabled. Um, so it's ignoring the refraction. So let me just turn this one off, the fake shadow for each of our objects, just like this. And... Now that we are using the um, photon kernel, uh, we should start to see it way better. So let me just enable this one here. Yeah, and as I also um, thought, we're not going to see that big of a difference. But now when we take down the radius, let's say to something like this, you can see that we now start to get even better um, photons here so maybe 0 0.005 is a good one so now you can see hopefully you can see that the caustics are coming through on the render here um, you can see it especially here down in the bottom where we also have a lot of uh, glass into uh, sections and kind of a different kind of um, you know um, modeling uh, kind of things is of course when you just have like a round glass you won't see that much of you know caustics but i can already see that this is way better than the effect that we have with the um not this one here uh with this one here as you can see this is more kind of faked with the kind of blown out and now we see these ripples here uh, already starting to pop through and if i just zoom in you can see that they are starting to kind of um, come together here 
uh, we can also try even lower here um, and it will just um, it's just a matter of finding the right balance for your image with the photon gathering radius so if it's too low uh, you will get a noisier caustic and um, an, an image in general and it will be harder to render out but if it's too low like like we had in the beginning uh, they will just be blown out so it's all about uh, finding the right balance for for your image in particular so you just have to experiment with this thing here and try to play with the intensity of the of the light itself and you will start to see a uh, caustics that simulate this kind of feel here um, so yeah so actually there's not much more to it than this one here um, depending on where you position the light and and the settings itself it will affect the the uh, the image itself so I know it's not exactly the same over here uh, this is also brighter but I also did uh, some post on this image here um, but just remember that the photon tracing within Octane is really the the way to get the most realistic caustics um, when uh, for your images um, and not the paid uh, path tracing but if you uh, don't have the render power or if you're in a hurry or you don't care that much you can use the fake shadow to kind of emulate um, caustics and then using the path tracing kernel but uh, but yeah so hopefully um, this was a, a, a yeah and a, a small and and quickish tip that you can start to implement in your own photos and um, I will be happy if you you uh, experiment with it yourself and if you tag me on Instagram I will I will reshare it of course um, but yeah let me let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below and uh, also um, hopefully you will create something really nice uh, as well um, so yeah so see you for the next one and uh, yes remember that you can get this file with the gla shaded glass um, on my patreon um, and uh, yeah so see you for the next one bye